Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking in on natural gas and the oversold bounce is underway. We saw some recovery today where we broke the steepest lower high, lower low pattern on the hourly. We got all the way up to 264. That's our new resistance level. Let's put a resistance line there to be keeping an eye on. And in terms of support, we consolidated and formed a new base of support before the bulls showed back up. That was down at 2566. So the range I'm watching is 2566 support, 264 resistance, and the bulls are looking to form higher lows and higher highs. So we need to see a break of 264 overnight or heading into tomorrow morning for this oversold bounce to continue. What I'm watching is the four hour chart for a bullish MACD cross and for a bounce off of these oversold levels. So here's this 10 period moving average resistance. It has rejected multiple bounce attempts back on February 17th, February 21st. And here again, the high of today rejected and we're right at that level. It's currently pretty much at 260. And that is currently right where we're trading. So watching to see if we can get over this resistance on the verge of a bullish MACD cross. RSI is coming off of oversold. If we do get this level of support and get a bullish MACD cross, I will be looking for some continuation to the upside. 264 and 2652 are resistances. Get above 2652 and there's some decent upside potential in the short term due to the lack of resistance with that all out dump. It's a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame. We absolutely must confirm this tomorrow. We have not seen a bullish reversal candlestick with confirmation since back here on February 6th and 7th. And that ended up being a bear flag with movement to the downside, continuation to the downside. So a must for the bulls tomorrow is a break of 264 and a green day confirming the bullish reversal candlestick that did form today. And again, we'll just be looking for a short term oversold bounce. We're not looking for any trend changes or anything significant at this point, one step at a time. And that is a short term oversold bounce with some decent short term gains. So you guys today form that bullish reversal candlestick, a little bit of an upper wick of profit taking, but it is still a bullish reversal candlestick. 1378 and 1374 were the lows of the past two days and the bulls need to break 1489 the high of today and see a nice solid green day for confirmation we have a big gap to fill all the way back up to 8 1888 so we could see some nice up to let's try that again we could see some nice short term upside gains if that four hour chart on natural gas plays out and we do get that higher high and confirmation tomorrow the weekly time frame we have the inventory report tomorrow. Keep that in mind as well. That's a wild card at early in the morning. So we're going to have to keep that in mind as well. And if we see another push to the downside on a bearish reaction to the inventory report, I'm going to be looking to play an oversold bounce all over again. So it's going to depend on what the reaction is, but a bullish reaction, we could easily see some nice upside in natural gas. I would not be surprised to see if we break 2652, a move up into the 270s on natural gas, that is. And the bulls here on you guys to form a bullish reversal candlestick on the weekly time frame are going to need to close pretty much 15 or better for a bullish reversal hammer to form. And we can already see it's going to be a huge volume week. We're two trading days in, or make that three trading days in because we did trade natural gas on, well, no, you guys didn't trade on Monday. So two trading days, and we already have the highest weekly volume we've seen in over a year. So it is going to be big time volume this week on you guys. And we're going to be watching for this oversold bounce to continue to play out. And again, if we do break this support that I just highlighted on the hourly chart, if we break that low, that is a big time red flag. If we break 2566, a big red flag for the oversold bounce. So we'll see if it continues to play out. I did make a million dollar bet on YouTube that we would see a 5 to 10% move by next Wednesday from this 2556 low. So I am sweating and we'll see if I get it.
So thanks for watching. We'll check back in tomorrow.